today is Social Media Day. Um, in Dublin, at least, Dublin has become the first city to declare this Social Media Day. We'll come on to the significance of that in a moment uh, because it ha- coincides with uh, Social Media Day in um, a place that knows plenty about uh, IT, uh, San Jose in California and Silicon Valley. Um, and there's going to be a link up between the two cities about which our next guest knows a fair deal. In fact, he'll be taking part in it. He's John Hartnett, chairman of the uh, Irish, uh, of, a, of an Irish group um, which is involved in this, the Irish Technology Leaders Group and also in a, a Silicon Valley investor. John Hartnett, good morning. Good morning, Carl. How are you doing? I'm, I'm very well. Now, I know you've just been to Limerick where you have opened... Um, in, in my Lish, you've opened a new enterprise centre which is named after you, which is a kind of, I gather it's called a business acceleration centre. Would you just tell us, first of all, uh, what that's going to do? Yes, um, I mean, Limerick Institute of Technology uh, uh, opened this building uh, this week. Uh, Finance Minister Noonan uh, did the officiating. And uh, really, this is all about helping young uh, Irish startups. Um, today, there's over 20 startups in the centre today. And uh, what we're trying to do is open a gateway to Silicon Valley for those young startups to help them access the big customers that are there in Silicon Valley, as well as help them access capital. Uh, San Jose and Silicon Valley in particular is the number one destination in the U.S. where over 40% of all venture capital is raised or invested. So in 2010, there was $8 billion invested in in Silicon Valley in young startups, and I'd like Irish companies to get a taste of that. What do you see as the prospects? Excuse me? What do you, how do you see the prospects? Um, I think the prospects are very, very good. I mean, when we look at um, you know Silicon Valley today, Silicon Valley today is very different than what's happening in Ireland. I mean, you know, Silicon Valley is effectively booming today, with many big companies, you know, like likes of LinkedIn going public, Apple doing really, really well, one of the largest companies in the world at three hundred billion dollars um, valuation. Um, you know, Irish companies need to get this type of uh, success. Um, I've touched more than 400 Irish companies over the course of the last three years and I see the success and I see the technologies that we have in companies like Skill Pages and MCore and there's no reason that Irish companies can't be multi-billion dollar companies. This link up which is taking place, it's a panel discussion online uh, between uh, San Jose and uh, Dublin and I'll give you the the, the website link in a minute because you can watch it. It's on at noon Irish time today and you'll be taking part what what exactly is the idea yeah well first and foremost uh, today is declared a social media day worldwide it was originally kicked off last year by mashable.com which is a a major uh, social social media uh, site and uh, you know social media has really you know revolutionized the way we communicate today i mean when you think about you know the likes of facebook you know there's over 700 million you know users around the world you know when you think about tweeting and tweets there's you know 50 60 million tweets per day so it's really become a major part of how people both communicate but also it's a major part of how companies can market themselves and it's become a very, very serious tool to do business. So what we're doing is celebrating um, that this is Social Media Day and one of the interesting things is you know, Dublin, uh, Lord Mayor Montague in his uh, first 24 hours in service uh, basically proclaimed that uh, today would be Social Media Day in Dublin and that makes Dublin the first city in uh, Europe to declare Social Media Day. And in San Jose, which is the sister city of Dublin, uh, uh, the mayor of uh, San Jose, Chuck Reed, also proclaimed that San Jose will be the, will be the it, it will be Social Media Day today as well. So really, this is a celebration of two cities, uh, you know, first in the U.S., first in Europe, to declare uh, you know this. So what's happening today? Um, it's actually at uh, it's today we're having a live feed um, on our website. It's actually midnight tonight because that's four o'clock at, uh, in the middle of the day in in California and we're doing a live panel. There's hundreds of people attending and there'll be thousands, uh, you know, tuned in, uh, you know, worldwide. And we have a number of different panelists, both, you know, young entrepreneurs that are in Silicon Valley that have really um, uh, embraced social media as a way of communicating to their audiences. And also we've uh, brought in major companies like Yahoo, 
and Motorola who talk to why social media is a big tool for them to do business. All right, so it's it's midnight tonight. Uh, yeah. Thanks thanks for the correction. And you can find that discussion between San Jose and Dublin at uh, www.facebook.com forward slash Irish technology. And we'll put a link to that on our own programme later, later this morning. It just so happens our web producer, Lisa Pereira, tells us this morning that Twitter is working rather slowly this morning. But anyway, no, nothing is perfect. Can I just turn just to the broad issue of what we're doing not just in terms of IT, um, in terms of developing serious uh, world, companies that can compete on the world market and, for example, the market that your group knows about. Are we kitted up for it? Are we organised properly? Yeah, I think that, um, you know, Ireland, you know, has had quite a bit of success uh, in technology today. Um, I think that one of the biggest challenges for, for us is really access to capital and access to big customers. And, you know, that's why we're really stressing the important connection to, to Silicon Valley. Um, you know, one of the challenges for young companies today is basically access to funding. Now, obviously, you know, Enterprise Ireland do a tremendous job in terms of funding young companies. And likewise, with an active venture capital um, activity here. But we really need to um, accelerate that by getting funding from outside of Ireland into young Irish companies and then also help those companies scale. So that connection to Silicon Valley is, is really a big part of making that happen. All right, well, John Hartnett of the Irish Technology Leaders Group, thank you very much for talking to us. As I say, that discussion is at midnight tonight. We'll put a link up on the website uh, later this morning.